This player is intended to be used to create sound effects in the entertainment industry, as well as in sound notification systems. Audio files are stored on a micro SD card. Make sure you insert card right side as shown in this video. Files on the SD card must be named by particular way. For cycle playback, files must be placed in folders named by numbers from 01 and above. Separate files for one-time play must be placed in a folder named MP3 and files named by numbers as shown in this video. For powering the player an AC-DC power supply can be used, as well as a battery. Don't use the source with voltage under 7 or above 12 volts and if you use passive speaker note that amplification power will depend on the voltage. A 4 to 8 ohm passive speaker up to 15 watt can be used when powered from 12 volts. This model of player contains 7 inputs, each triggering some action. To trigger the action you just need to close input terminal to common terminal. Inputs are pre-programmed to default one. values. Sound from folder 2. File 1. File 2. File 3. File 4. Sound from folder 2. Sound from folder 2. Sound from folder 2. For reprogramming inputs and distant running from PCR's 485 interface is used. To connect player to the PC a simple USB to R's 485 converter and two wires is minimally enough. Fun apparatus is a set of software tools being used to work with our modules including fa one player. First, let's check connection, run testing tool, open port, and try running some files, volume change and equalizing from PC. Note that default baud rate is 9600 and module address is 1. Do not change those values unless you are sure what that means. Sound from folder 1. Sound from folder 1. Sound from folder 1. Sound from folder 1. Sound from fol file 2. File 3. File 4. Sound from folder 2. 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 For reprogramming inputs, run programming tool from Fun Apparatus software. Hit that tool, connect to the port, choose an action and value, for example number of file or volume value required for each of seven inputs then press program button and values will be stored in player memory Programming is done. For more info visit our website. Thanks for watching this video.